Welcome back everybody. It has been a while since I've opened up some cards on my channel and that's exactly what we're going to get the chance to see today. I know everyone's probably got those Bowman blasters and mega, mega boxes coming in from Target uh, from last week. Uh, these are ones I actually picked up at Walmart. You saw me find in a, a card search video uh, a little bit over a week ago. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll probably just have time to open one of these blasters in this video and then maybe I will post this second one tomorrow. So you saw me find these at my area Walmart, uh, the same time that I found the Chronicles football, the same time I found the La Liga mosaic soccer cards, and score 2021 football, or yeah, 2021 football as well. And so these were the only two blasters they had. The, my first chance to open a blaster Bowman, I've been able to find some just regular packs and uh, obviously bought some hobby packs, but this will be my shot number one at a blaster box. I know you've probably seen lots of people open this on their channel, so I won't spend too much time talking about the product itself. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. We're going to have our 72 cars. We'll be looking for those green parallels. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. The blasters were my jam last year, man. Uh, if you haven't been watching my channel for very long, just this right here. Last year, I got really lucky and hit Jason Dominguez um, parallel out of 75 out of a blaster box, uh, but we'll see if the luck will hold this year as well. So looks like we got a couple chrome cards there right in the middle. We'll go ahead and cycle those prospect cards coming up first. Corbin Carroll, who I'm really high on. Jordan Groshans, another shortstop prospect, as if Toronto doesn't have enough loaded infield prospects. Nolan Jones, the top uh, position player for the Cleveland Indians. Christian Pache, who's been injured this year. Uh, now we're getting into the rookies here. Kiebert Ruiz. And Luis Patino, now he's with Tampa, obviously. Mike Trout, your veteran card there. And Luis Castillo and Cody Bellinger. So here we go. Awesome. Right off of the jump, we've got a hometown player here. Kansas City Royal, Asa Lacey, futurist. Uh, they picked him in the most recent MLB draft out of Texas A&M. Uh, they didn't really expect him to fall to them, but uh, they went ahead and picked him over Austin Martin. Uh, the Royals had a chance to take Austin Martin, but instead they went with Asa Lacey, and hopefully he can make some contributions in the rotation. Probably not this year, but maybe next year or the year after. We got Spencer Torkelson, the second Bowman Chrome card of his. I don't have his first Bowman, which was in draft last year. And then Cody Hose, I believe is how you pronounce that, but I could be wrong. So first pack, got an insert already. Asa Lacey of a hometown team. So we're off to a pretty good start. Let's go ahead and Go to pack number two. I always like to cycle this to the end. Don't see any color in this one. Ryan Valade. I got a through the mail autograph from him. A uh, couple, I think it was last year. Use Neil Diaz, Oswaldo Peraza are our prospect cards. And then our veterans, Austin Hayes, Evan White, reigning gold glove winner, Leody Tavares, Jazz Chisholm, who may have uh, a shot at being the rookie of the year this year in the National League. If he can keep it up, Casey Mize, Davey Garcia, and Jake Cronenworth. So, our prospect chrome cards are Ed Howard, who was picked in the first round last year by the Cubs, and Eddie Diaz, our first first Bowman chrome there of Eddie Diaz for the Colorado Rockies. I can't say I know anything about him. Looks like he was signed as an international free agent out of Cuba in 2017, 22 in the Colorado organization. So looks like he's a middle infielder, second baseman and shortstop. I'll hold on to that one and see if he develops. Sometimes it takes a while for those international players to come over and make their mark. Pack number three. We've got Alexander Ramirez for the Angels, Julio Rodriguez, and Daniel Espino for the Cleveland Indians. Our prospects are uh, veteran players, Christian Javier, who just got moved to the bullpen, Braylon Marquez, Shohei Otani, who's had a really nice year so far, uh, Chuck Nasty, Brian Anderson, who's on the injured list currently, Bryce Harper, and Yadi Molina, our prospect chrome cards are going to be Riley Green, who was a first-round draft pick of the Detroit Tigers a few years ago, and a first Bowman chrome of Jose Tena, or Tenya. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Uh, he is a card I've seen other people pull. I don't know a lot about him. Also signed as an international free agent out of the Dominican Republic, nephew of Jose Uribe. So maybe that bloodline will means some success for him as well. So we're halfway through. I have not seen any parallels or any colored cards. The only insert we have right now is the Asa Lacey. We'll see what we have here. This could be an insert. It looks like we have a little bit of a, maybe a 1991 Bowman card right there. Our paper prospects, Royce Lewis, Eddie Diaz, we just saw his chrome earlier, and Garrett Mitchell out of UCLA. 
our veterans, Frankie Lindor, obviously now no longer with the Indians. J.D. Martinez, who's having a nice bounce back here this year. There's Evan White, Leody Tavares, and Jazz Chisholm again. We're obviously going to see some uh, replication here of these base cards. We have this Bowman Scouts Top 100. That's what it was. It wasn't a 1991 Bowman um, card. It's the Scouts Top 100 of Ronnie Mauricio, number 64. And the Scouts Top 100. That's our second insert. We got a Jason Dominguez. A nice chrome card there. I was speaking about him at the beginning of the video. And then Young Il Choi for the LA Dodgers. I don't know a lot about him. But he is a another international signing out of South Korea. And uh, average 9.8 strikeouts per nine in the Arizona Fall League in 2019. So that was a probably pretty solid one. Um, Dodgers have some pretty good histories with the international, especially the Asian market. Um, obviously with Young Jun Ryu and, and uh, Kenta Maeda. And has had a lot of success with uh, pitchers coming over from... South Korea or Japan. All right, here's pack number five. We're down to the nitty gritty here, guys. We haven't seen a uh, parallel or any type yet. Our prospects, Edward Cabrera. There's Mr. Choi again and Austin Hendrick, who was drafted in the first round last year. Uh, had his first Bowman card in Bowman draft last year. Garcia, Mize, Cronenworth, Campusano, Acuna, and Shane Bieber are our veteran cards. We have another insert. This time it is one of the 1991 Bowmans, and that is a nice one. Spencer Torkelson. Obviously, the centering on these is really tough, and this one is very, very off-centered. It doesn't take a magnifying glass to tell that this one is off-centered left to right, but that's a pretty cool Spencer Torkelson. And then we got a Nick Lofton and a Miguel Amaya as our Bowman Chrome card. So this blaster box has yet to give us one of the top prospects. It has yet to give us a parallel card. Maybe we can make up for it in some last pack magic here we go let's see if we have any i'm not even gonna we're just gonna cycle through this i didn't see any color christian yelich sean murphy kyle lewis max scherzer chris bryant and anthony santander oh one more bobby dahlbeck as our kind of base cards there we have a forrest whitley who seems like he's always hurt and always on the cusp of becoming uh, great but never has quite been able to put it all together and james beard as our other Chrome card, Feliciano, and there's James Beard again, and finishing off with Braden Shoemake. So uh, this first blaster box was a little bit of a bummer compared to probably what some of the others have been. Uh, we just hit our very, very basic, about as run-of-the-mill as you can get. We got one of the Futurist inserts, we got one of the Bowman 1991 inserts, off-centered, and we got one of the Bowman Scouts Top 100. No refractors, no colored parallels, no uh, big name prospects. And so this first one is a little bit, um, leaves a little bit to be desired, but hey, they all can't be winners. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up and you'll have to check out tomorrow. I will post probably the second blaster box we have off camera or just right here. We'll see if the second box can redeem for this first one, which is a little bit, um, not what I was hoping for. All right, guys, have a good one out there.